dans la compagnie, vous utilisez le BPC Resource Informatique, qui utilise le IT Retail en BPC Group, en Host of Chief Transformation et le Sad Visual Fisher. Je suis très heureux de vous avoir aujourd'hui, de mon événement de mon favori de Global Tech Events. Merci pour l'invitation et merci pour le camp. Then, the hot topic of the moment is GNII, you are right, and uh, this hot topic is beside other hot topics that you have uh, in the market, like uh, data governance, like uh, data sovereignty, cloud regulation, and other competition with global big techs. But it's not the same one, with API also, there are some the same market with interoperability and, and security. What is important is that it's changing a lot of, of our life, a lot of our way that we work together. AI today generates hopes and fears, just uh, incredible, but sometimes it's excessive, you're right. What is important is to say that AI is near our uh, daily life, is near our world and workload, and is generates a lot of hopes, and some hopes are not realized in the real time. Over a year or six months, we are witnessing uh, a lot of innovation in the market. We are using all a lot of uh, innovation with AI, with applications, with data, and others. And all these innovations are very quick. And we can, uh, I'll ask you another question. How many of you are using some uh, AI tools uh, today? Yes, funny. Uh, every one of you. That, that is very important because uh, since the release of ChatGPT in November 2022, it was the first public adoption of a new innovation that we have seen for a long time, perhaps ever. My children go to ChatGPT each day, each hour, ask questions, and get better quality answers than I could ever provide them. Why? Because it is very quick, it is very important. Sometimes it's not, there are some false questions, false uh, rest, uh, answers, but uh, it's a principle of reality because it is there in their daily life as education. What I mean is that uh, ChatGPT and other tools with GenAI are changing the way we interact, the way we work, education, uh, health, uh, conversation, uh, all what we have to do today, we are looking for some chat GPT or other tools in order to improve our comprehension of what we are doing. It's not just about technology, it's over to the society, it is uh, the human behavior, it is not only technology because it is uh, some deeply profound and uh, uh, transformation. What is important to understand is that all that uh, is uh, very fast and enterprises, for example, have to be adapted to these uh, real tasks that are uh, new, new because it is uh, are not prepared at last time and uh, every time that you are looking for some, some new application and some new use case. It's AI like revolution. I think yes, it's the first revolution after agriculture, automation, and also with technology. Why it is a revolution? Because it's transforming deeply the society. The society with public adoption before enterprise adoption. That is important to, to understand why. When I ask question from some uh, some middle or small enterprises, I heard something like I'm anxious. I'm not uh, prepared. Uh, I'm not optimistic, and rarely I, I heard that I, I, I ask you what is important for me or, or not. That is running everything we do. Remember that uh, massive adoption of the digital for some years and data that you have uh, generated are massive, are massive. And remember that two years or three years ago we have uh, we have the COVID crisis, and with COVID crisis we gained three or four years on massive. Uh, this division of our society. And we create data, data, and data. All this creation of data, we are looking for value, and uh, all enterprises that are seeing there are using data for visualization because they are using data to understand and to unlock the value of their data. They understand something between some profession, some department, some business, and is using all this data as an asset, a great asset for the society. AI, machine learning, or gene AI, are giving another way to enhance the age of data enterprises, to find other things, to create new businesses, to create new hubs for the uh, employees and for the clients. What is important is that AI is a tool, is a way, it's not, uh, it's not a target at each time. And more than 80% of the world data was created last three years, and you have a funny 
slides that are front of you, we create a lot of data because we are video, we, are, we have only shopping, we have uh, some uh, global decisions that we have to take and we create data, data create data. And in uh, two years before, we have uh, created, stored and shared uh, 64.2 gigabits in 1980, and I increased this data creation more in near by 180 gigabits in, 18, uh, in, in 2025. This is a huge creation of data that we are creating each other in our society, in our daily life, and this is a huge concern that we can have before to have a global use of this data. What is important also is to say that data deluge is, uh, uh, <laughs> is a two-edged sword because it can help us to have new business, it can help us to have uh, new, new patterns that we can develop with our employees, with our clients, with our family, but it is a lot of things which is important to, to have in your mind is that AI yeah, will have to train with a huge amount of assets because all these data are in the cloud server and using a huge workload and creating a full carbon with just uh, enormous. But we have to create a part of AI. Why we have to create? Because this is the essence of humanity. Uh, now we have a lot of things about data and we are creating this data and we are looking for some, what we, I, I, I think, uh, productivity. You know, uh, all, all, all of us are looking for productivity in tech industry, in use case for a business line. We are looking for a lot of productivity because AI, as I said, is a tool. What is important also to, to share is that in the history of humanity, all global innovation don't have uh, uh, online uh, productivity at that time. For example, when we have the Amchain, uh, uh, the first Amchain machine which is created, we are reaching 100 years before to have the global impact of the economy. And perhaps that also for this uh, innovation we have, have to wait a lot of time. We have uh, some years ago, some 10 years or 20 years ago, we have a, a global adoption of smartphones. Smartphones have to create productivity, but they don't create anything. We are using all smartphones. I have two smartphones in my pockets, but I don't. I cannot say you that my productivity was increased. Why? Because we have a lag between any new technology and the global impact of the economy. And this lag, we are uh, the same thing with AI. Which in AI we can have perhaps not 100 years. I hope less than that, but perhaps in 10 years or five years we can have some some new economic adoption. The second thing that is important is that AI, what is different with AI and Chin AI, is the public adoption of AI before the society creates a pressure on societies, on enterprises, because we want to apply the subjects, because uh, our children, our wife, our society are using Chin AI each day, and we want that you use Chin AI also for enterprises. For example, in my, in my case, I want to use AI to uh, help developers to to develop more fastly and have a lot of uh, productivity. But sometimes it's, it's not possible because the maturity of the tools of the market is not as developed that, that, that weight. <laughs> will, 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 will AI replace human stone? I think no. I think no because a lot of reasons. Because AI, as I say, is a, a way to help us. It is uh, uh, what we say in French, a companion. Uh, that is really important to, to understand that. But it's the life of humanity is everything like that. The first time I have, uh, I have seen new innovation, all my, 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 my friends, my colleagues, my family say, oh, it's very scared, I don't know how we use it, it's very difficult, it's very hard, it is, uh, 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 it is very important to, to not use us. We have three examples in the history that I want to share with you. The first one is the book and the printing press. In the 16th century, when he invented the first time the printing press, it was a, a Swiss a scholar, Conrad, who said that printing will create information overload. Just fucking, huh? And he said uh, that the government have to regulate it and to stop printing because he was just afraid about printing. The second example is electricity. You know, in the 19th century, when he invented electricity, it was a massive adoption of the population. But the president, the city president, uh, Benjamin Allison, Tonight and off uh, in the White House, he closed the light every night at six o'clock because he was afraid of electrification. <coughs> the next day, huh? not the next one on innovation. And the last example is email. In, as uh, soon as uh, 2005, uh, some uh, 
people who say that the uh, email is harming IQ, human IQ, and a great, great partner at that time was still need printers to print email because he was afraid about emails. That shows <laughs> that it is a lot of uh, important that the lag between adoption and the new innovation is very, very high sometimes. AI isn't a strategy, but you need AI strategy. It's really important. Why? Because there is, uh, there, is, uh, uh, there is a huge concern in that each one are looking for AI to have a, a lasting competitive age. In the history of innovation, there is no innovation who gives the partners or the enterprises less age for all time. Because all this technology will become public technology and all each one, each, each one will use this technology and adapt them. We use as to uh, enable new products to automatization and other things. There is some new tax and new operational tax. But what is important is to say that there is two points which allow us to say that it will be democratic. The first one is the shared progress. Each time that you are using data for our competitors, this is our data that we use it so. And each time that you are using other data, we can share the market what is the huge advancement at the moment. And that after all that, we will share all the progress and the progress will be shared. And the second point is that the open source Accessibility of all algorithms is now accessible. We are all using some open source, and all that will allow a spread of uh, knowledge and capabilities for all the market. That's why that's important to understand that you can have the beginners, you cannot have a, 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 a great advantage for, for, for the market for after. I take one example. One example, I think, uh, an example of Lego, you know, the company Lego. In uh, 2003, it was months from Bankraft because they are losing market, 30% of the market was lost, and they have uh, 800 uh, millions of debt. I take all this data and I put it in uh, two, two AI tools, and I'm more sharing for some decision to understand what, was, what could be the decision at that time if we put all this data of, uh, of information about Lego company at that date compared with what decision they have taken. Lego companies, the family of Lego companies, for the first time, uh, nominate uh, uh, a non-familiar CEO, which was Jürgen Vick Notstop. He said that you have a great, uh, great problem, great doubt, and you have to save the society. Jürgen said three decisions. The first one, he reduced, he reduced the, the cost of uh, the Lego uh, pieces. It was 2,000 uh, Lego pieces, and he reduced to 6,000 pieces. The second decision that he took at that time, he said that we are a toy company and all the verification of Lego was not, not, not good. It was at clothes, at jewelry, and he decided to refocus uh, Lego and design a task. The second, the third decision was a big partnership with video games and with TT games, which is really huge because at that time, we the beginning of all the company of, of, of games. And the third one is uh, uh, some partnership with Star Wars and Harry Potter, which allow to have some new clients, uh, new generation, and uh, all that uh, with a new vision of the strategy of Lego. At the end, he learned in 2021, the revenue has uh, raised a hit of $7.5 million. And last year, it was $30 billion. This is the decision of a human, not a machine not a machine learning, not a robotic it was the organ to take all this information. I take the same information, I put them in the AI, automatic AI to choose, I don't want to say what tools I choose, but decision of AI. First one, we have to go to metaverse collaboration. We have to put all the data and other on the metaverse because it will be something new and something new competitors to have new clients. The second one is to have a, a advanced design software focus on technology and not on the choice pieces. The third decision was to have a second market hand with a lot of uh, people that we can not access for Lego and can access uh, uh, to that. What is important to understand with the two decisions, there is not the same decision. Human take three decisions as different from the machine learning and the AI at that time. I don't know if we take decision from AI at that time, if we Lego will be safe. 
What is important to say that Legonda is the first company to us in the world. That Jorgen saved the company and humans saved the company. It's important to say that matching can only help us not be saved instead of. <coughs> the essence of intelligence is to be human, yes, 100%. We say that every time that we have some revolution, like the industrial one, we, we freeze uh, <laughs> the power of mass control, our, as I said, we change. We change jobs, we don't, we don't be farmers, we are in the desk, we are in the industry. And all this uh, huge uh, evolution of, of, uh, of uh, the revolution understand that this is some lack of adoption. And what is different with AI uh, uh, instead of uh, additional evolution, others is the, 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 the lack, the, the time is very short because we have pretty quick, we are understanding a lot of things, we have accessibility of technology more than others. And are also the cost, which is less and less expensive for our company. The human intelligence and AI is also an augmented intelligence. Because I think, and I, I hope that we share, we share that with me, that uh, AI and Chin AI have memory, but no memories. AI and Chin AI can recognize a face, but cannot say if it's beautiful. AI or Chin AI can have idea, but no imagination. Ayar or Chen Ayar can have uh, a lot of uh, uh, capacity, ability, but do not have any capacity to, to understand and to forget. Ayar can allow us to have uh, a lot of capacities, uh, for example, to, to, to learn and to understand what we learn, but they don't have regret. Okay? Ayar is different from the human skills, because intelligence is a mixture of skills. It is questioning and answering. It is a mixture of skills of uh, uh, love and taste. It is a lot of skills of what we have uh, uh, humans. It is family. It is uh, company. It is uh, friends. It is colleagues. That is what we do with, with humans. Humans is intelligent. If we stop to be intelligent, we are to stop to be humans. You and me are people who are intelligent, and they don't think that artificial intelligence will replace this. Intelligence is true and not artificial temporary.